Alright, video number two of me launch tutorial. I'm just going to quickly go over the ProGrade uh, Autopilot Stability Assist, uh, SAS Autopilot, whatever you call it, ProGrade Marker. Same rocket, full throttle, launch. And same again, well I'm just going to throttle back a bit, I need to go so fast. One we hit about 100 metres a second, I'm going to start tilting. And, uh, tilting to the east and about 10 degrees. Whoop. Errant finger press. So st start tilting now to about 10 degrees, nice and slowly. See your prograde mark is going to start falling towards the horizon now. All we do is hit prograde and that'll keep our little pilot trap, Kerman. He'll, uh, follow that program marker, similar to what I was doing in my last video with the stability assist. So now I'm hands free. You may just have to massage it here and there to uh, do everything you need to do to keep it on track, staging. See our heading's just going off the 90 a bit, so we just pull it back, back to the 90. It's gone right to 100, so a bit of a bit off orbit. There we go, back in the 90. Whoop. Anyway, doesn't really matter as long as it's within you know, 10 degrees or whatever. You're not going to flip out of control. Now you see with uh, having the prograde selected, I'll just make sure my electric charge, yeah, these, are, these have got alternators so you don't worry about electric charge on launch. The prograde marker using uh, SAS prograde, you're gonna, it's just gonna keep tipping over to the 90. So what you wanna do is you just wanna hold it back a bit. I probably should have held it back a bit early so I can get my apoapsis up first really wants to veer off the 90, off the heading. So I'm just going to oh, throttle back a bit, getting a bit of an atmospheric drag. I'm just going to check my apoapsis. Oh, it's 70 there, so... Now again, I'm just going to let it fall over to the 90, do my staging. doesn't want to keep going so I'll just push it over. Take it off super loose this. And almost perfect on a hundred. Slightly over. What I'm gonna do here is do a bit of a stage. And I'm just gonna do for the sake of it, I'm just going to do a maneuver. Oop, didn't mean to do that. I'm just going to circularize using a maneuver this time, as opposed to the last time where I did it all manually. Just in case some of you want to know. 101, 102. Under 101, 101. That's pretty close. That'll do. Um, now, now we're out of atmosphere. I'm just going to fire my rockets to so it calculates the burn correctly. So it's quick. ZX. And see it bumped it up about 10 seconds. So what we want to do, you want to split this burn time before and after the node. So once it gets 42 seconds, and once it gets down to 21 seconds, I want to start my burn. And I want to be facing my um, node indicator. Not sure if that's called a node indicator. It is now. Yeah, so when I get down to 21 seconds, I'll start my burn and uh, keep track on this. And yeah, well, um, let's warp a little bit. That'll be enough warping. It tends to take a while to slow down. Now this um, this marker is going to go back to the 
should be pretty much on pro grade once we hit hit the timer anyway if I know anything about this game alright 23 one second full throttle oh it dropped down again so our orbit's going to be a little bit off but whatever I don't know why I did that And once this gets down a bit lower, you'll see your um, marker starts veering off. You just got to slow down and try and chase it. Yeah, oops. That happens when your periapsis goes above 30,000, I believe it is. Now I just want to chase my. Cut it there. Have a look at what we got. Yeah, I blew that out, didn't I? That was because maybe this will bring it back. I've never done this before. What did that do? 105, 98. Hmm. Made it be better. But yeah, because I did the little burn bit wrong. It uh, ended up being wrong. That's what you get. There's my little bits of debris falling back. All right, so that's uh, that's all but using the prograde marker. Probably not the best explanation of it, but it works. Thanks for watching.